Hey, Softy, you must be rubbing off on me, cos I just wanted to say you did good back there. I'm glad to know I can trust you lot. You're free to use the 404 hubs and complete contracts. I'll be out there, fighting the good fight. I hope I'll see you out there too. Laters. So, we friends with Babylon now? Police. Looks like everybody's losing their blood clot minds. Normally I'd agree, but Caitlin's not your typical cop. She's cool, I think. Cops will be cops, and that's the simple truth. You're talking about like she's an evil robot. Just give her a chance. She might surprise you. <laughs> yeah, surprise me with a knife and at the back. You're too fool. Hey, what's up? Reading Sky's obituary. It's funny. I never thought an obit could make me feel this bloody joyous. Yikes. Come on, a woman is dead. London is being terrorised because of monsters like her. I can be glad she's dead. Look, I'm the last person to give you shit about being glib, but this is just... icky. Listen, I ain't afraid to look at my arsehole in a mirror, so I'm definitely not afraid to be honest with myself about what we do is dead sick. Okay, okay, whatever. What's good, mate? All right. I'm still freaking out about Sky Larson's creepy AI lab. Yeah. She killed people and sold off their minds, turned her own mum into a hollow butler. That's some supervillain shit. I know. Worst part is all those people she mind mapped are still in there. Every AI she's made is an immortal, lobotomized mind. No free will at all. Couldn't even die if they wanted to. Nothing more than Sky's mind slaves now, forever. Cool, thanks. Well, that's the scariest thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, and then some. If I end up a cyber slave, you better promise you'll off my hard drive. Right, let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organisation to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government. Led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. Which is suspicious timing, if you ask me. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. we found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure.
It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. You won't believe you just passed that thing. You're not surprised. This what do you do? Enough. AI giant Broker Tech announced today that they are cancelling Daybreak the neural mapping technology designed to allow people to live forever. A spokesperson for the company told press the decision to shutter the project was made out of respect for the memory of their founder, the late Sky Larson. What the company has in store following the death of their illustrious leader remains to be seen. has been snooping into Albion's affairs. Quietly, of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. So let's be friendly and say hello. Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. <laughs> he must have some sort of paranoia disorder. To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Copy that. <laughs> what is this place? An ancient video game temple? There's so many fucking traps. You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. Piss easy. I got this. Welcome to Claire and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the end. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Played on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. The traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. Move! One more muscle, Chief, and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. Wait, wait. Calm down, man. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Fuck no! Think more resistancy. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. 
Wait! Albion knows you're in London. Kill me if you got to, but run! Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? <sighs> Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish! Look, cuss is worse than you know. Believe me, we know. Why else would I be risking my ass here? Maybe, because Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking mercs work. Listen, we want your help. Cass is no friend of ours. He tried to end us and he had a hand in the bombings. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what... Move, move, oh, move! fuck! An Albion squad's closing in on you. I guess you weren't shit. lying about that part. Fuck, think, Amy, think. Shit, fine. We'll table it. I'll buy you some time. Just go. You found him. No! Them All that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. All right, Chief. That was a pretty slick escape. Believe you. So I'll say this, Nigel is planning something, and I don't think I could stop him on my own. If dead sex everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, he... We would have some mad plan to fix all his problems with robot police or automated crop fertilizing or some shit. Society was a technical problem, and people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them, or you squash them. Sorry, Chief. I've got to switch proxy service so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen, I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. Working on an upgrade of his private police state? Brilliant. Does this prick ever take a day off? Whatever he's up to, we need eyes on that meeting. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. Okay, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be inside with security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this. Nigel Cass's meeting will begin soon. Approach the Tower of London when you're ready. If we're lucky, word hasn't spread that you've hung up your jackboots. Just try to put on your meek, harmless, broken by the system face. Oh, and don't forget your uniform.
Hmm. This is new. Maybe there's more. Looking sharp, your ex-colleagues won't pay any attention to you unless you let them take a close look. Seems that manky little nerd was the one who kept diverting relief supplies away from the borough to keep everyone in line for Albion. These days you can do a lot more evil with a spreadsheet than a drone fleet. Wonderful. Eyes peeled. They're here. Shit for brains. for Friday, mate. I suppose I'll Simmons. Do you know him? Anyway, no matter. He's the one who organized our team building activity. He's rounded up a few of the prisoners they brought in a little while ago. The ones who didn't have any relatives. He figures it'll make for an easier time when we declare them missing. Right. So the fun part. He's gonna release them into an open field while we get our shots in. I'll bet you a pint I can get rid of ten before you. <laughs> You're on your slimy you bastard. I'll do a sweep. Clear, moving on. Someone's hurt. Searching the area, nothing so far. This area is clear, keep moving. We need to spread out.
Listen here. I'm going to tell you something, and it's between you and me. Completely off the record, yeah? The whole thing's quite disturbing to me. They've got good reason to close off parts of the building, but at the end of the day, it's a load of bollocks. This place is a treasured part of London's history, of its culture. Great, powerful men have ruled over this fortress. The citizens of London have an obligation to it. You can't keep people out. They must visit it, breathe in its very essence, so that they too can become great. But again, this is all between you and me, mate. Carry on now. A word of caution now we're inside. Any disturbance in here and Nigel Cass will surely cancel his meeting. Avoid being detected by your former colleagues or this operation is a bust. Nigel won't have anything important on this floor. How is it you know more about him than I do? Yeah, I was Albion too, if you hadn't tweaked to that. Me and Cass were close once. Looked up to him. <laughs> he was bigger than life, fam. Literally a tech genius. And I was just a gearhead kid. I wanted to be like him. That's why I joined up. Seriously, for real? Didn't find out he was a murderous prick until later. This new project the director's presenting upstairs. Queen Victoria kept these letters, written by her beloved and much mourned Albert, until her death in 1901, a fall 40 years after his death, on loan from the Victoria and Albert Museum. Fair point. This was considered by historians to be the famed sword Excalibur. Later, archaeologists were able to date the sword to the early 8th century, at least 200 years too late. It still remains an excellent specimen of Anglo-Saxon weaponry. These coins date back to the Roman conquest of Britain, or Albion, as it was known in 43 AD. Some are genuine Roman coins, but others were imitations made by the Celts. The Exmoor Pony is Britain's oldest native breed. The breed nearly reached extinction during the Second World War when trigger-happy troops used them for target practice. Everything is proceeding on schedule. He freaks people out! You know who hates Albion? What do you know? Something like this, but you could give me a couple of lashes too. Just keep going about your day and let the professionals do their job. Get in the way. It's your problem, not mine. Follow the law. I respect the law, don't you? Everyone else is. Animal rights forever! But it's true! I heard someone saying dead sec was back. They better not be just a bunch of terrorists pretending to have morals. <laughs> no kidding. This door clearly requires a security pass. Wonderful. Use one of the nearby computers to create your forgery. Be careful. You don't want to know what Nigel does with trespassers. running around his head you wouldn't dream up in a million years. If he wants us laying off Clan Kelly, you can bet he has a reason Jeez. for it. I know, I know. It's just frustrating to see those punks and not being able to kick fuck out of them. Director Cass, I've been unable to reach the Commissioner's office. He's stalling. Doesn't matter. It won't change anything. I won't allow it to change anything. Damn him. Yet another fool who knows what the right thing to do is. But let's emotions get in the way. He's still scheduled to attend. Would you like him removed? No. 
Despite all, we need to work with the official government. Send a security detail to make sure he attends. Dress it like a state privilege and sit him front and center at the meeting. He'll be key to my getting the others to fall into line. You mean dead sex? I've heard some talk on the street that they may be back in operation, but I'm not putting my stock in that. I'm not sure. There's some rumblings out there. Signs that they may be back in some form. Well, if they are out there and stirring the pot, I'm betting Director Cass has got a plan for them. You mean whatever these eggheads are working on, I haven't heard any real details about it. No one really has. Top hush hush kind of thing. But then that says a lot in itself, doesn't it? If this rolls out the way they've been saying it will, we won't have to worry about dead sec or any other resistance. It'll take some time for the forgery to be ready. To keep you occupied, I dragged up still images and a recording from an internal investigation into Cassini's death. Sure me. Internal psych assessment AS001 subject Cass Nigel. Mr. Cass experienced a deeply traumatic event when he witnessed the murder of his father, Gareth Cass, CEO of Albion. He began exhibiting symptoms soon after what he frequently described as the random event. Mr. Cass's initial symptoms included insomnia, paranoia, distorted blame, and recurring flashbacks. However, he appears to have channeled his anger and self-described powerlessness into his work to ensure that Albion become, quote, a mechanism for preventing unpredictable violence. It seems somewhat of a mania edging on psychosis. For me, this raises concerns about Mr. Cass's fitness to run a multinational security company, but, I cannot, at this time, make any recommendation beyond continued monitoring, especially considering that I have been asked to close this file. Jesus Christ, me have issues, but this, this is our next level, you know. Them choose him, are all people to secure London? Blood clot. Yeah, well, Nigel's never close to anyone but his dad. And me, I guess, never had much faith in people, really. Well, the pass is ready, but rough. If this resistance thing doesn't work out, I doubt you'll make a living as a document forger. Let's give it a go anyway. Nigel Cass awaits. Take yourself through it. What do you like? Well, I like this, but... I hear what you say. Question, isn't it? I just don't know what to How think. How are you getting on with those metrics? Oh, disgusting. Welcome to Project Themis. Our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Without your support, I couldn't stand here and tell you. But I promise you that with the launch of Project Emmys, London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mr. Cass, I was hoping you'd called us all in here today to discuss the ethical issues. <laughs> no, it's all right. The Commissioner cares, as we all do. I admire his, his passion and his dedication. Let's talk ethics. Well. For one, Themis goes far beyond Albion's mandate. We really should have more government consultation. I see. Delay the launch so that we can debate and assess the details. We're missing the human element here. 
I can get the defence minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. <gasps> it's the human element that got us into this. No more debate, delay, indecision. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. Now, will our friends at Tidus be ready? You are the cornerstone of the project after all. Do you need to consult any outside parties? Uh, no. We'll be ready. And just in time. Criminals running our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. Assassinated by terrorists. Decisiveness is hard. But here's the best part. Once this decision is made, no more will be required of you. Attention. A building-wide security sweep has been initiated due to document breach. I warned you about that, Forgery. Your uniform will help. Don't let them get a close look at you. I need an exit. The catacombs, fam. Go, go, go! Go! Damn it! I could get used to this. You an action in there, didn't you? Man can be very uh, persuasive, but in control. That was for effect, but also to get results, to get Themis launched as soon as possible.
hell. Mm -mm, I don't like this. Albion's top secret project is an automated killing machine. And it looks like Cass is almost ready to launch. We have to get Themis out of his hands. I'll prepare a briefing. Will we see you there, Hamish? Pretty face, not risking, remember? But patch me in. You and me got some scheming to do, Bagley. Civilians to remain indoors during high risk hours. Limit outdoor movement unless absolutely necessary. I'll start the briefing whenever you're ready. Here's what we know about Nigel Cass. He's rolling out something called Project Themis. The lack of information on its own is worrisome, but what little we do know is Cass wishes to remove the human element from law enforcement. We also know he's partnered with Titus, which is never good. Titus does other work with Albion. Nasty shit like autonomous weapons, human targeting algorithms. So Titus is our best lead to fill in the blanks on the secret project, but their security is notoriously difficult to crack. So Hamish has proposed an intriguing solution. Albion's been working on a new microdrone, something my contact told me about. That shit's not even in production yet, but if we get the plans, we can manufacture our own. To bypass Titus security? Exactly, exactly. They're weird as fuck. Supposed to do maintenance on Albion's other drones, but the smallness of them means they can slip into places nothing else can. Well, there we have it. Our next step is to infiltrate the Albion drone manufacturing lab and get our hands on schematics. And then you lot were a fun little gadget to break in the Titus. Love it. I'll shoot you the location. Be careful. Albion doesn't like to share his toys. You're coming up on the Albion drone facility where the micro drone is being developed. It better be worth it. It will be. You're going to need to disable the security system protecting the R&D lab.
Oh, God. Jeez. Security's down in the R&D lab. The plans for the microdrone will be in there somewhere. I've downloaded the schematics. You can leave whenever you like. I should keep an eye out for more. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now that we have the schematics, we can make micro drones of our very own. Better move fast on that, Bags. We need to get into Tidus ASAP. Shut down Project Themis before Nigel decides to launch. And with what he was saying, we don't have much time. I've found a potential recruit for you. Drop in a pin on your map. We've successfully trialled our first micro-drone, and it's officially as cute as the Dickens. I've decided to name it Sebastian. Time to break into Titus. And take away Nigel Cass's newest toy, Project Themis. Bagley, any idea where that name comes from? Greek mythology. Themis was the goddess of divine justice. You know, the one with the sword. Ooh, that is so Nigel fucking Cass. See? School's useful for something besides social maladjustment. Find the schematics of the building, and I'll work out the location of the Themis project. Have you looked at the Themis brief, Mum? Yes, I looked at it before I assigned you to the project. I am quite familiar with what it entails. You must see the ethical implications of this. Themis violates half a dozen laws at least. Those laws don't apply anymore. Or haven't you been paying attention? We're functioning under martial law here. No. Themis is more than just martial law. It's a guillotine waiting to come down on everyone. Look, you have two options. You can do your job, or you can lose your job. Pick one. Look round for anything named Themis. I'm onto it.
Well, if I was hiding a top secret morally dubious drone project like Themis, I would put it in the secure vault on the lowest level. You will have to hack your way past some pretty serious security, however. The elevator that leads to the secure vault that houses Themis is locked down. You will have to access the bypass terminal to use it. You will require a spider bot. No, no, no. You'll be using Sebastian and the rest of the microdrones to bypass security. But first you'll have to get by that laser array. I suggest a spider bot and steady nerves. I'm onto it. Our job is not an easy one, but it is an important one. Right now, we devote countless hours to intelligence gathering, and still things slip through the cracks. We're doing our best, you tell me. We are, but our best isn't good enough. <sighs> it doesn't sound like... But even we aren't perfect yet. Yeah, they'll like that. That strikes a humble note. We make errors in judgment. That's human nature, but we cannot afford errors. We are the last resort to protect the people. Project Themis will dispense justice and protection. It will use data to predict the patterns of crime and abuse. It will let us transcend the faults in our own nature. Not oh, bad. Yeah, they'll have questions, of course, which is fair. It's an extreme measure, and there is potential for abuse, but uh, this is what London needs.
Right, Sebastian, this is what you and your friends have been training for. Time to crash the security grid for Daddy. Alright, let us see these Michael Jones in action. That's the spirit. Should be pretty sick.
There are the cores. Destroy them, Sebastian. And for God's sake, be careful. Father, very proud, Sebastian. Oh, right. You should be able to access the Themis project room now. Let's ruin Nigel's fucking day. London, once a beacon of civility, now a cesspool of lawlessness. It is clear that humanity can no longer police itself. Fortunately, we don't have to. Welcome to Project Themis. Albion has found a way to apply an existing system, LifeScore, a data aggregator of biometrics, personal information to our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. They miss drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Fuck me, I knew it. The life score algorithm, my algorithm. I should have scrubbed it before I left. What do you mean, Hamish? You know how Themis works. No, fam. Well, yeah, this was years ago. We were developing a life score algorithm for what Cass called a peacekeeping system. Supposed to identify vulnerable civilians, not target them. Jesus. So in theory, Themis could be programmed to target anyone based on any number of parameters. Exactly. That's the way Cass thinks. Genius, but twisted. We have to stop this, and I know how. We delete the life score data, and Themis is done. Oh, fuck me. All right. It's done. Yes, we'll have the award ceremony another time. Get out now. This may be entertaining. I've intercepted an audio transmission from Nigel Cass. No, no more excuses. This is my city, and I will not have DedSec ruin my plans for it. Themis was poised to change London, the world. And this group of... And Hamish fucking Balaji? I want them all! They made you all look like fools! They walked calmly into the White Tower, and no one, not one of you, stopped them with all our vaunted security measures. So do any of you have anything to say? Nothing. Well, everyone, and I mean everyone in the organization, will be revetted immediately. 
Someone help them. That's certain. And we will root them out. This time, we will get them all. Well, that's about done it. Cass is going to steam about this for a while. No more life score, no more Themis. You did it. It was a team effort. Big up to all of us. But we still have a lot more to do if we're going to finish off Cass for good. We can use some help. Uh, not much of a joiner, fam. Considering how my days at Albion ended. But I'll be keeping watch on them and Cass. Maybe feed you lots of intel. And there's still the question of Zero Day. Remember them? Completely gutted DeadSec 1.0. Cass had a hand in that purge, Bagley, and in the bombings. So we'll gladly accept any help you can give us, Hamish. Cheers. In the last adventure of Detective Bagley and his occasionally helpful human sidekicks, we discovered that a billionaire tech mogul and a war profiteer both had secret plots to exploit human suffering and murder thousands. A shocking twist, I know. Speaking of the people we most suspect, Mary Kelly's slave trade is bound to be any day now, and we also just received a distress signal from a coffee shop of all places. Maybe the Wi-Fi's down or something. Is that relevant, Bagley? Yes, obviously there's more to it than that, but I knew I had to make a joke or you'd just tune it out. I've marked both leads on your optic. 